Let's be honest, guys. There's a bunch of older folks in this country, no disrespect to good, decent people who are older folks, but there's a bunch of older folks in this country who, um, in, in recent years, or should I say maybe this recent year, um, they've come to lose their goddamn minds over trans issues. And it's probably because of the perpetual propaganda that's being spewed out in right-wing new media and right-wing traditional media, cable news. And um, now it's all coming to a head because you, of course, have anti-trans legislation that's being passed in a bunch of different red states, including, by the way, legislation that impacts adults and their ability to get health care. We covered that in detail the other day. It's happening in Florida. They said nurse practitioners can't, you know, give out these medications anymore. Well, guess what? 80% of trans adults get their health care through nurse practitioners. So now they can't go there. They have to go to a doctor. Well, many doctors are afraid of consequences and, uh, you know, legal action taken against them. So they're like, well, I, I just don't do trans medication anymore. I just don't do it. So um, it's having adverse effects even for trans adults. Well, guess what? Now we have a story. Granted, this is anecdotal, right? But I think it speaks about, I think it speaks to this growing hysteria, this growing mania around the country over this issue. Led, leading the charge, Matt Walsh, Jordan Peterson, these types. Man accosts short-haired nine-year-old girl and accuses her of being trans at a track meet. Nine-year-old girl. Nine-year-old girl. Two Canadian moms say their nine-year-old daughter was competing. And this is in Canada! The hysteria has gone all the way up there. Well, I mean, Jordan Peterson is from there. And he lives there, so maybe it does make sense. I don't know. Two Canadian moms say their nine-year-old daughter was competing in a shot put final at a track and field event when the grandfather of one of the other participants started yelling at her. Quote, she went to step up to compete for the grade for the grade four shot put final. And right before she went to throw, a grandfather of a student said, hey, this is supposed to be a girls event. And why are you letting boys compete? My daughter is cisgender, born female, uses she, her pronouns. She has a pixie haircut. In other words, she has a short haircut. He stopped the entire event. He also pointed at another girl who also had short hair. He then piped in and said, well, if she is not a boy, then she is obviously trans. Star said, adding that the man's wife then started calling her a genital mutilator, a groomer, and a pedophile. Now, I'm sure these very concerned about the kids, older conservative folks, I'm sure they're also super angry at the Catholic Church with that new report that came out that said 1,900 kids were molested in just the state of Illinois. I'm sure they're well aware, well aware of the billions of dollars the Catholic Church has paid out because they basically had a diddling kids factory where they would shuffle priests from church to church to get them to avoid legal consequences. I'm sure they're mad at that. I'm sure they're mad that in the state of Florida, they have nude beaches where kids are allowed to go. So Florida's deathly afraid that teachers are grooming kids to be gay, but they got nothing to say about geriatric freaks with their dick and balls swinging all over the place at nude beaches where children can be. But I'm sure they're outraged about those nude beaches too. Right. Right. Wrong. Wrong. They continue. Central Oconagon School District Superintendent Kevin Kerdahl said he's working to have the man banned from all school-related events. The girl's other mother said the incident affected the daughter's confidence. Quote, this has destroyed our beautiful daughter's confidence and she has inconsolable crying during this whole event and continued once it was over and we were leaving. Not to mention she was unable to concentrate on her track and field finals and the shot put throw for which she had qualified. I'm going to say something. I don't think this is controversial. It might be controversial because some people have lost their goddamn minds on this stuff. But let me tell you something. We have a 10-year-old. He just turned 10. And I'm the... Uh, I'm the assistant coach for one of the teams, right? In this age group, in the county where we are, they do co-ed. When you're nine years old, when you're 10 years old, when you're in that age range, when you're pre-pubescent, they have the boys and girls play together. You want to know why? Because at that age, there's very little difference between them, okay? Very little. And so they say, hey, fine, co-ed, everything's fine, go right out. I've seen many young girls, nine years old, that are more athletic 
than some of the boys. I've seen it firsthand. So to do co-ed sports, especially at this young age, is no problem whatsoever. No skin off anyone's back. But they're losing their goddamn minds at a nine-year-old at a fourth grade athletic event. And they're acting like even if this kid was trans, right, they shouldn't be allowed to do this. Bullshit. You want to have a conversation, you want to have a debate, you want to have disagreement when you get to the older ages, when you get to the college level, when you get to pro sports. Of course, there's a much more detailed and deep conversation to be had at that level. And reasonable people can have different opinions on where exactly you fall. But when you're talking about nine years old, man, shut the fuck up. Even if the kid was trans, who cares? You're going to accost a young girl. That's what they did. So anyway, everybody, calm the fuck down. Get the hell off the ass of trans people. It's not that serious. It's none of your goddamn business. And um, live and let live. But people's brains have been poisoned by absolute garbage content convincing them that this is some demonic evil thing. There's not much else to say about it. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.